to celebrate his 20th anniversary, Terry Mugler staged a theatrical spectacle as outrageous as his designs. Friends and fans gathered at the Cirque du Bear in Paris to enjoy his extravagant oath. One of the most wonderful designers because he not only designs fabric but he designs obviously people's lives. It, it goes much broader than just a piece of fabric. Oh. He would say to me, you know, you but the way he would interpret me, you know, you but more, you plus. He wanted to be, me to be the countess and uh, so he said, you are Countess Lehndorf, which I am. And so I said, okay, we do it very cool. And he, we, we decided together that I'm doing nothing, I'm just walking there. Most of the time it has to be sexy and glamorous. And sometimes he feel like, just feel wild, like the animal. Well, the corset went for me. It doesn't breathe. It's not made of elastic. And do you remember the women at the end of the last century when they had the vapors? Well, they were wearing Cherry Mugler's corsets. <laughs> they're so unique. I mean, they're almost avant-garde. They're so, so wonderful, and they're, they're very feminine. Everything is so feminine. I like that. His clothes are just so thrilling. Even the fantasy clothes are, are unique and marvelous. I love Terry Mugler's um, brain. To be able to, to you know, uh, uh, design these magnificent things. The spectacle celebrated the entire cast of Mugler's fashion characters. Sexy robots, showgirls, dominatrixes, glamour queens, and powerfully androgynous bomb fatale. I want to show with beauty. I want to show the beauty through the age. I want to show the courage. It's not that easy to be a woman, so I want to show it. Pantheon of more than 55 supermodels starred along with dozens of other celebrities and performers. And while the cost was rumored to be over $3 million, it was priceless to see Terry Mugler's world brought to life.